Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can turn your road legal pipe into the best hard and roof pipe money can't buy. When I say money can't buy, it's simply because you won't find a pipe made for hard and roof. If you actually clicked on this video, it's because you're a hard and roof lover and a huge fan of this sport and so you know exactly what type of fouling these bikes, namely the two strokes, usually tend to have on a hard and roof race or simply when you're riding with your mates. One of the worst things about the two stroke is the bike. Why? Because it's a really crucial part and also a really easy part to bend and to damage. And once damaged, it's really easy to lose some performance and lose some power on the bike. And as you can see on mine, mine is pretty banged up as well. When I bought it used, the bike uh, it already came with some dents and whatnot. And obviously, I had to add some new ones. The problem is the solutions that you have on the market to compensate that are more heavy, such as skid plates with bash plates uh, over the over the pipe or carbon fiber protections which are a stupid amount of money it's like 200 or 150 almost as much as a pipe and you damage it once and it loses almost the full capability of protecting your pipe so actually in the moment there's no pipe that's actually made for hard and durable but there's a solution when you buy a bike or I think that any two-stroke bike that you buy off the shelf comes with a roll legal pipe and that pipe is usually stupidly heavy why? because inside it has a muffler uh, there's a muffler to keep the sound of, of the typical noisy two-stroke down and so you end up losing some power uh, and besides losing some power you add some extra weight the thing is, the pipe that comes with the bike, the old legal one, is actually a pipe with usually exactly the same dimensions as one performance pipe, such as an FMF or any other one. And usually those pipes are a bit thicker on the walls to compensate that extra weight. They have to support that weight somehow. The solution to the problem? Remove the muffler. I went to Shishtribu. They actually they were the ones giving me the idea you can do this actually pretty simply obviously you have to have tools for it you can use a cutter uh, machine or a saw with a saw you will take a bit more but you can do it as well just have more patience Ainda bem, ainda tem uns bocados soldados. Né? Qualquer modo, uma parte que já saiu, vê se não tem lá um meio lá dentro. Às vezes pode ter, ao fundo de tudo. Se estiver é aqui. Aqui? Exato. Aqui não tem. Bem, cá, só dois jeitinhos aqui à volta. Cá se para cola três. Exato.
しいけど。After that, the trickiest part is to find a really good damn welder, and usually that's the problem, right? It's a big weld, and you have to give it, you have to give the pipe to someone that really understands what they're doing. Luckily, Shishti Bruno is a really good damn welder, and he did an amazing job. And this is the final result. I hope this video helped you save some money. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave all the comments below and subscribe. Cheers.